Campus FM, we welcome from Hiranui College talking to us about their business study program, Zoe. Hi Zoe, how are you? I'm good, thank you. And also Bradley. G'day Bradley, how are you? Good, thanks. Now can you tell us a little bit about yourselves? So we're a start-up business from Hiranui College. We recycle pallets and timber cut-offs to create new products like deck chairs, tea trays, planter box and horse jumps. Our target market is first-home buyers who are wanting affordable furniture for the inside of their new home or as some accessories for the outdoors of their home. We're also an eco-friendly company so if you buy one of our products we have the option of it to be treated. We will be using eco-friendly stains or recycling stains from the recycling What's the name of the business and how did you come up with the business idea? Um, so our business name is uh, Papa Tūnuku Designs and kind of connecting with the Māori culture of um, Papa Tūnuku which is Mother Earth in a way but as the, uh, young people we wanted to give back an eco-friendly business to our community and beyond a friendly team and we're building like, so we want an eco-friendly as well as catering for our business people needs so we kind of chucked this all together and had a plan to make an eco-friendly furniture and design business. Um, we all questioned uh, how decent some eco-friendly products so we had an end idea of having a decent affordable eco-friendly products within the furniture design sector and that, that's what our business is now. That's a great idea having it be able to be eco-friendly and sustainable. What planning has been required to get the business sort of up and going and started? So it's a lot of planning for well young people anyway so from getting our business uh, planned we kind of had to all communicate and come up with an idea and with that we kind of settled on it and then we had to uh, validate our idea with people around the community mainly with our target market as Zoe said um, first home buyers and uh, ensuring people would buy our products which is obviously a number one thing in a business uh, and so it was a challenge uh, but we then had to confirm our business idea with the Young Enterprise Scheme so that was making sure that we were allowed to do our business everything was okay and settled and that's when we were able to begin setting up our platforms such as Facebook, Instagram and Sorby which is a website so as I said it was a lot of planning and a lot of conversations between everybody and each other in the team. Now what have you learnt so far Bradley and Zoe? Uh, together as a team especially myself learning a lot about finances within our business and understanding how much it is to make a product like how much it costs there's been learning about taxes loans etc there's also been the side of things like marketing how to market how to advertise our business as well as how to set up a website many simple things but things can be carried out throughout life wonderful now thank you so much for coming in today that was Bradley and Zoe from the Hiranui College and all the very best for your business opportunities <laughs> thank, thank you, you.